Genie ground, I wish I'm getting rich, huh? Remember when I said I hit a lick, huh? I don't really wanna fuck the bitch, what? Willy went and made another hit, okay? Like Prada, I'm a motherfucker kid, huh? Louis, I'm a motherfucker hip, huh? Curry, how I dunk, no switch, hey, fuck, you gonna fuck that bitch, hey, if you ain't gonna fuck with me, you a dumb fuck, uh? Put up a hit, I'm gonna fill out one punch, uh? Look at my bank and I'm getting dumb rich, uh? And I'm gonna count it up till a hundred, uh? Hello world, I'm What If Studier, and today we are talking about Al Capone. To Al Capone, um, I want to subject him into the UA universe. Now I'm used to doing what ifs and making Deku into the people that I talk about, but Al Capone is not somebody you can simply just turn Deku into. He's not a character to be meddled with. You need him in the U in ua verse so i will be subjecting him straight into it no catches just him and the ua let's get it going so after years of him tax evasion and also taxing others and his just gangster crimes in general he is finally locked up in alcatraz however this universe's version of it as he once hears uh, in the school yeah, in the in the yard one day on the on the little news thing that they have the radio they hear of kids being attacked at the place called the U laughing at this fact saying that those fools can protect shit as he once thought um, ordering one of his many people that he's made uh, friends with you could say to turn it off forcing the other man, the guy who was holding the radio to turn it off immediately. So, he meanders on by his day again, until he has stopped his first check-in in so long, and, um, and forced to, into an interrogation room. He sits down, sort of, um, with the same cadence as he would have before, holding his sort of scar-faced pride. A lady walk, um, walks in, straight-laced and straight-faced. She sits down like a robot, getting right to the case, say, stating that we, uh, we know that we've made you a lot of deals, and you have taken absolutely none of them, understandable. But this time you're going to want to listen, please. Yeah, make it quick. I got three people to stab to, into love. We need you to protect a group of Certain children. Children. Yes. We're aware that you recently lost your son. Shut up, droid. Just because I have a computer processor in my mind doesn't make me... Yes, it does. <sighs> I'll do it. I don't even care what you do to regulate me. As long as I get out of this hell joint. The next day, he walks out into the gigantic yard that leads out to the out to the whole city. As he walks out the, um, with his shackles around him, they start to unlock him, locking his face, then his hands, and then his feet. But when they came to the neck one, they left it on. Him shooting up his eyebrow, you know, suspicious of them. The meaning of this, the hell is it? As the lady comes back up, um, walking through the path that they usually would. She says, You're sort of... <sighs> lock. To keep an eye on you. It'll keep track of you and your dangerous quirk. Dangerous? What are you talking about, dangerous? As he starts to activate his quirk, um, a part of his quirk named uh, Domination. It's an intimidation quirk which releases a slight aura where it starts to intimidate everybody around you. They feel pressured. They feel very uh, intimidated by you. So everybody starts to feel it until she presses a button, which stops the quirk. You'll be keeping that on, on, on you as long as we can. Come, come now. You'll be stationed in UA as he's flown in a helicopter above and dropped down onto UA. <laughs> See ya, as they just leave. Uh, of course, um, you know, they have um, cameras activated everywhere to make sure um, to keep eyes on him in checks. However, he's finding ways around that. Once he gets back down, Aizawa comes out to the roof and um, picks him up, saying, So you're the 
You're the bastard. You're uglier than I thought you would. <clears throat> and you look homeless. He just drops him. <laughs> he just drops him right back on the floor and leaves. <laughs> Fucking Al Capone's like, ah, it was worth it. He just like gets up and like hobbles in as all the teachers are like in the hallway, like just staring at him like he's like the worst th thing on the world. And he's like, what, do I have something on my face? Yeah, a massive scar. I knew that, you idiot. That was like the Dracula kind of looking guy. Anyways, he meanders down the hallway trying to, you know, gather all of his stuff. He collects all of the money that he had left inside of UA, as UA was, fun fact, actually in debt to uh, him. As he walks into the office of the mouse guy, uh, you know, it's, a, it's quite a shocker to him to, you know, see the guy that he was in debt to, you know, about a few million dollars in debt to, uh, walk through the door as uh, he had not been ready for him. And he's like, how about I play you in a game of chess for it? He's like, yeah, that's not going to happen. Come on, give it up. You surely got it by this point. I have been in huge debt since all the kids have been attacked at the U a recent UA. I I'm sure you can understand. I'm Al Capone. I don't understand the word if you're saying. Come on. Get the money now. And fucking Aizawa's like in the doorway just staring at him like, uh-huh, uh-huh, cool. Yeah, the kids are already on their way. And he's like, oh shit, I gotta... Wouldn't want them to be attacked again. No thanks to you, Alawa. It's Aizawa, but whatever. He asked Principal Nezu, are you sure that we have to fucking work with this guy? It's only for a short time. Don't worry. He'll keep them safe, I'm sure of it. How the hell are we chasing our freaking kids with a crime boss? I'm very confused on how it came to this too. Better catch up with him. When one I'm running off now. Picture back to um, Al Capone, right as he turned the corner, he immediately uh, just straight up like ran. As the helicopter chases after him, but it goes the wrong direction and then realizes that he went right back into this into the building so it just kind of leaves he says that was a quick one but that was a fake that was to lead them away as he was taking off his his um thing by using a minion that had uh one of his minions from the old days that had a crusher quirk with inside of his hands to rip off the the sort of neck brace and having another minion uh hack it to make it um think that he was you know someplace um to make it think that he was at ua but realistically no 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 he's underground he's not in the black market sort of just cruising around his old streets taking it all in again mm, yes everybody looks at him like holy shit he's back like, how fucking, how is he getting back? Like, so many of his old, you know, all the people that owe him money, he starts collecting it from each one, right? And then he bumps into a mysterious figure. A man with, with hands all around his arms and gray, gray hair. He sort of says, um, when they bump into each other, uh, I, I um, freaking Al Capone, feeling more superior in this sort of situation says excuse you kid I'm mentally older than any of you bring me to your father and we'll uh, settle this little deal out maybe he'll be more uh, mentally stable than a short little kid like you I could kill all of you right now you want to go small guy come on I'm waiting and then, like, this whole tension is starting to build up. He's starting to activate his quirk. All of his minions are starting to activate their quirk. And then, um, all, all for one comes in. One for all, I mean, comes in. No, all for one comes in. Sort of, you know, having that feeling around him. And then um, Al Capone realizes that he is face to face with all, all for one. Powering down and sort of settling in his mood again, he introduces himself again. I'm sure you all know I am Al Capone, alright? 
Now, I'm back on the market again. Whatever I can do to earn your trust, I'll happily do. My minions here have been collecting all the money I've been owed over these years. I'm not out of the game. I just wanted to introduce that back to you. All for one. Now I'll be leaving. However, all for one stops him. Mentioning, however, those kids that he was protecting. There's a certain raid going on in a few weeks. One where we've made a special deal with a person called Stain. He's not exactly agreeing with our accords, but he will be having a siege on one exact location. And the kids, well, they might be in the crossfire, if you can make it happen. So, Al Capone um, look, looks behind him and nods and walks away. It's your plan, big man. If they don't die, it's your fault. Ha, <laughs> ah, what do I care? And thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you, world. I am out. Genie ground, I watch him get a rich, huh? Remember when I said I hit a lick, huh? I don't really wanna fuck the bitch, what? Willie went and made another hit, okay, like Prada, I'm a motherfucker kid, huh? Louis, I'm a motherfucker hip, huh? Curry, how I dunk, no switch, hey, fuck, you gonna fuck that bitch, hey, if you ain't gonna fuck with me, you a dumb fuck, uh? Put up a hit, up, I feel like one punch, uh? Look at my bank and I'm getting dumb rich, uh? And I'm gonna count it up till a hundred, uh?